KMDLers Top 20 Most Popular K Dramas on Netflix, 2018 to 2022. It looks like you need your daily dose of K drama, and that's why you clicked on this video. You did the right thing. We're here to help you find the next K drama that will be rolling on your screens. From Song Jun Ki, IU, Lee Min Ho, and Kim Soo Hyun. We all know that whatever they touch turns to gold, and their confirmed dramas create news even before they air. In this list, let's take a look at the most popular Korean dramas available on Netflix. This list is based on My Drama List users from all over the world. Also note that some K-dramas, they might not be available in your country, but we hope you'll be able to watch them soon. Reaction Time Among these popular Korean dramas, the K-drama at number 9 exceeded all expectations and set new records. How about you? Which of these well-known Korean dramas lived up to the hype and was worth watching? You can let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 20, Sweet Home a young man transfers into a new apartment after losing his family in an accident. Strange things begin to happen in his apartment and across the country, making his quiet life quickly become the polar opposite as individuals start to transform into monsters. He and the other tenants in the building will try to survive. Sweet Home is a must-watch horror and supernatural K-drama. It certainly lived up to the expectation, as it became the first South Korean series to enter Netflix Top 10 in the United States. Sweet Home Stars Rising Actors, Song Kong and Lee Do Hyun. Number 19, Angel's Last Mission, Love. When a prima ballerina got involved in an accident, she was forced to give up her dreams after her parents' unexpected death and how people began to hover about her and her inherited wealth. Our female protagonist distrusts everyone. She is unable to love someone as a result of this. An optimistic and carefree angel appears in her life. He's constantly getting himself into trouble. And to return to heaven, he's given the task of finding true love for the arrogant ballerina. This rom-com and fantasy drama brought us a touching plot that made us laugh and cry. Angel's last mission, Love, will demonstrate to viewers that having their aspirations destroyed is not the end of the world and that love can arrive in unexpected forms. Number 18, Abyss. Our female protagonist is a fierce and successful prosecutor who gets into a fatal situation Thanks to a mysterious magical marble, she is brought back to life, but in a completely different form. Her appearance is determined by how good she was in her former life. The same goes for our male lead. He died and was revived. He is the intelligent and humble heir of a cosmetics company, yet he finds himself unattractive. However, when he comes back to life, he is extremely gorgeous. Abyss follows the story of a man and woman who died, but were granted a second chance at life. Thanks to the soul-reviving marbles found in a mythical abyss, the fantasy drama combined crime, romance, and comedy to tell an intriguing story about reincarnation. Its unique story captivated the audience. Number 17, Tale of the Nine-Tailed. Many centuries ago, a nine-tailed fox settled in the city. This gumiho can take on the appearance of a person and destroy supernatural beings who threaten the mortal realm. Our male protagonist tries to find the reincarnation of his first love. Tale of the Nine-Tailed also brings in a television producer, working on a show that features urban myths. Tale of the Nine-Tailed is a popular K-drama that was all over our newsfeed. It features two of our K-drama opas, Lee Dong-wook and Kim Bom. The drama generated a lot more buzz because everyone was excited to see Kim Bomb back on the small screen. And in case you didn't know, the drama has been renewed for a second season. Number 16, Startup. Two of today's most well-known young Korean actors brought this romance drama to life. Rolling on our screens are Bae Su Si and Nam Joo Hyuk. The audience was also wowed by actor Kim Sun Ho's excellent performance, giving everyone the second lead syndrome. Yep, we got it bad. 
Our female lead is dissatisfied with her career and her current state. Longing for more, she lets her great aspirations take her to new places, take risks, and try new things. Entering the story is a founder of a startup company who is struggling to gain momentum. Startup also introduces us to a man who will judge or determine the future of startups. Number 15. Hospital Playlist Hospital Playlist follows the story of five doctors who happen to be longtime friends. These individuals have known each other for 20 years, attended the same medical school, and now work at the same hospital. Not only that, but they're also in a band together. This life and medical drama will tell the stories of individuals spending their days inside a hospital. Viewers will also witness their lives outside the hospital. Hospital Playlist will highlight how ordinary days can be special and memorable too. This drama was so popular that it won the hearts of its audience and even got a second season. Number 14. Touch Your Heart Touch Your Heart tells the story of a well-known actress known for her beauty rather than her acting. Unfortunately, her acting is terrible. She becomes embroiled in a scandal involving a Shabel family's son, which causes her acting career to decline. A well-known scriptwriter has offered her the lead female part in a drama series, but she must work as a secretary for a lawyer for just a few months to gain experience for the role. Everyone was ecstatic to learn that Lee Dong Wook and Yoo Na would appear in a drama together after becoming a well-loved second couple in the Korean drama Goblin. Once again, they did not disappoint us with their charming and amusing moments present throughout the drama. Touch Your Heart truly touched our hearts and the chemistry of our leads was amazing. Number 13, The King Eternal Monarch Starring one of the biggest Korean actors, Lee Min Ho, in The King Eternal Monarch made some major headlines. The drama drew even more attention because this was the actor's comeback in a K-drama after serving his military service. Gained mixed reviews among viewers. But what did you think? Was The King Eternal Monarch able to live up to its royal hype? The third Korean emperor of our male leads generation is seen as the perfect leader by his citizens. A deep wound hides beneath his perfect exterior, following the murder of his father before his very eyes. Something ties him back to that night. During one of his adventures, he discovers a parallel universe where he encounters an inspector with whom he forms a team to combat criminals. Number 12, Flower of Evil Our male protagonist is a caring husband and father. He's built a great career and a lovely family. However, he hides a dark secret about his true identity. When his detective wife starts looking into a case of serial murders from 15 years ago, his seemingly perfect life comes crashing down. Flower of Evil is a must-watch crime thriller. At the end of each episode, you'll find yourself clicking the button for the next one. The drama played some major mind games as its incredible narrative progressed. In Flower of Evil, we get to see Lee Jung-gi showcase his superb acting again. Number 11, Romance is a Bonus Book Romance as a bonus book shows viewers the ups and downs of life and how one works harder to live than to give up. A gorgeous and successful writer happens to also be the youngest chief editor at a publishing company as he becomes involved with a childhood friend. Previously a well-known copywriter, his life takes on new meaning. Our female protagonist, now a single mother without a job, lies about her background so that she can land a job. Number 10, Love Alarm. When it was released, Love Alarm became one of Netflix's top releases and was renewed for a second season. The Korean drama has also made it into the top 10 most watched Korean dramas on the streaming platform. Love Alarm tells the story of an app designed to see whether there is someone who liked you within 10 meters of you. If there is, the app's alarm goes off. 
The application will not only notify you when someone likes you, but it will also tell you how many. Meet a lovely and intelligent high school student who works hard and lives with her aunt's family after her parents died. A wealthy, famous, and gorgeous male student and his best friend enter the plot. Number 9. Squid Game A man swimming in debt lives with his mother and can't even provide for his daughter. One day he receives a tempting invitation to participate in a competition playing Korean children's games with a prize pool of 45.6 billion Korean won. He takes the opportunity after hitting rock bottom in his life. He'll be competing against 455 other players, one of which is his childhood buddy. None of these players were aware of the game's deadly consequences. The popularity of Squid Game is undeniable. The Korean drama topped in many countries and even became a worldwide trend. With many people sporting and even cosplaying, you could say, the costumes showcased in the drama. This became Netflix's most watched series, catapulting its actors to superstardom and garnering countless awards and nominations from prestigious award ceremonies. Number 8. Her Private Life an ultimate fangirl works for a living as an art gallery curator. With her secret hobby hidden, no one knows she's a fangirl, as she fronts a very professional image. On the side, our female protagonist works as a loyal manager for her favorite idol. She must keep the secret from the rest of the world. A once famous painter turned art gallery director enters her life and discovers our female protagonist's secret. There's no denying that Park Min Young and Kim Jae Wook's on-screen chemistry was fantastic. Her private life provided a great deal of enjoyment to its viewers. Particularly, fans of celebrities or idols could certainly relate. With several crazy and comical situations, made the drama so enjoyable to watch. Number 7. Vincenzo After being adopted at a young age, our male protagonist moved to Italy. He currently goes by the name Vincenzo Cassano. It would be best if you didn't mess with him because he's a mafia consular who knows how to defend himself. Vincenzo returns to South Korea due to a feud between mafia factions. Here he meets a lawyer who will go to any length to win a case. What's next for Vincenzo Cassano now that he's back in his motherland? It's not a surprise that this drama is on this list. Vincenzo gives us the one and only Song Joon Ki. The top star's K drama is one of the most watched Korean series on Netflix and is in the top 10 highest rated dramas in Korean cable television history. This crime drama mixed with comedy made it more entertaining to watch. What made it even better was the outstanding performance displayed by the entire cast. Number 6. My ID is Gangnam Beauty If it's Cha An Woo, we're definitely adding it to our watch list. Cha An Woo has a large fan base that includes fans from both the K-drama and the K-pop worlds. So let those worlds collide. As a result, the K-dramas he accepts appear in everyone's timelines long before they even air. He's just that popular. But did the popularity of our male protagonist match that of My ID is Gangnam Beauty? Be sure to check it out for yourself. A girl bullied for her appearance grows insecure and distances herself from others. Wanting a fresh start, she undergoes plastic surgery to free herself from the bullying. When our female lead enters university, she becomes one of the most attractive women in her class. However, they soon find out the truth and she begins to lose her confidence again. And our male lead comes to the rescue, a handsome student who knows her from back in their middle school days. Number 5. Itaewon Class After being expelled from school for standing up and punching a bully, a man's life is turned upside down. If that wasn't bad enough, his life has changed forever when his father is killed in a car accident. Wanting to start over, he opens a pub named Dunbam. 
and surrounds himself with people who will work together to achieve success. Ida One Class was one of the most popular Korean dramas of 2020. It was not just popular among netizens, but it also generated high television ratings. Because of this drama, Park Seo Joon's popularity rose much higher. His chestnut hair in the drama even became iconic, maybe even trendworthy. Number 4. Hotel Del Luna The Hotel Del Luna is not your typical lodging. Inside this hotel, where only the dead are allowed to stay, there's something grand waiting for them. This establishment is owned by a greedy soul who has spent a thousand years tied to the hotel. She can only get out of this hotel if she lets go of her anger and her need for vengeance. She can be kind at times, particularly when money is involved. Again, only the dead are welcome in her hotel. What exactly will happen if someone alive steps inside? Everything IU touches turns into gold. So the moment it was revealed that she was playing as the female lead in this drama, popularity had already hit Hotel Del Luna. The drama undoubtedly lived up to its hype, becoming one of the highest-rated Korean dramas in cable television history. This romantic and fantasy drama provided us with a well-written plot, happy and painful love stories, and a variety of breathtaking outfit changes from our female lead. Number 3. Crash Landing on You What happens if you accidentally land in North Korea while paragliding? A South Korean businesswoman gets caught up in a weather accident that leads her into North Korean territory. She is not allowed to be where she landed, so she seeks assistance from a North Korean army officer to help return to South Korea. As our female protagonist tries to return unnoticed, she and the army officer develop feelings for each other. Creating such a huge Korean wave, Crash Landing on You became the highest rated TVN drama and the third highest rated South Korean TV drama in cable television history. Besides the ratings and achievements of this hit drama, do you know what else is a success? It's the love story of our lead couple. Hyunbin and Son Yejin. These two stars took their on-screen romance off-screen and the Binjin couple tied the knot just this year. Number 2. It's Okay to Not Be Okay Marking the comeback of Kim Soo Hyun on the small screen, It's Okay to Not Be Okay made headlines even before it aired. Everyone was excited to see the top star back in a Korean drama, and it's no surprise that It's Okay to Not Be Okay became the most popular show of 2020 in the romance genre on Netflix in South Korea. It was also named one of the best international shows of 2020 by the New York Times. A community health worker is rolling on our screens, working at a psychiatric ward. He's very patient and understands the feelings of others. Our female protagonist, on the other hand, is the total opposite. She is a well-known writer who is highly self-centered and rude. How will these two, with contrasting personalities, connect and find romance in between? Number 1. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim? Here's one of the rom-coms that definitely removed the stress away from our bodies and made us enjoy watching K-dramas. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim told us a boss employee love tale that had us laughing and crying along with them. The stars who brought this drama to life are Park Min Young and Park Seo Joon, who displayed such beautiful chemistry. After nine years of working for the vice president of the company, Secretary Kim decides to resign with the desire to devote more time to herself. However, her narcissistic boss misinterpreted the reason of her resignation. As a result, the comedy starts to emerge. What are you waiting for? Time to watch our male lead think about what's wrong with Secretary Kim. Most of us prioritize popular K-dramas on our watch list. Even if we have busy lives, we always try to attempt to squeeze in one more K-drama. Did all of these K-dramas make your watch list? Do you have a favorite or a least favorite? You can let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, MDLers. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm your host, Happy Squeak.